In this video, we will try to demonstrate how to change engine oil on a Kawasaki Mule. We will start by unlocking the first latch for the cargo bed. The second latch for the cargo bed is unlocked. The cargo bed is lifted with the handle grip. While lifting the cargo bed, we will hook the end of the supporting rod. We will lift up the seat to access the oil fill cap. The oil fill cap can be removed to vent air and help the oil drain quicker. In this view, with the cargo bed raised, we can see the engine of the Kawasaki Mule. The Kawasaki engine FD620D is a liquid-cooled engine V-twin with 617cc displacement. In this view, we are close to the ground looking at the bottom end of the engine. Seen in the far left toward the cab is the oil filter. The oil drain plug is at the very bottom of the engine face down toward the ground. In this close-up view, we can see the oil drain plug is also right above a plate mounted to the frame. In this view, we're looking up from the ground toward the oil drain plug. The plate has a hole large enough to fit a socket to remove the oil drain plug. A 14mm socket was used to remove the oil drain plug. This process should be similar to other Kawasaki Mule models with the same engine. While the oil is draining, an oil filter wrench is used to remove the oil filter. The engine on this Kawasaki Mule uses a Kawasaki oil filter part number 49065-2071. New oil is used to cover the o-ring on the new oil filter. The new oil filter was then installed. A paper towel was used to help tighten the oil filter by hand. At this time, the torque wrench was set to 32 newton meters or 24 pound feet. Using a 14 millimeter socket, the oil drain plug was started by hand. The torque wrench was then used to tighten the oil drain plug to spec. A funnel was then inserted to the oil fill location. The funnel can be set with a small gap to help vent while the oil fills. Synthetic 10W40 oil was used. This engine has a capacity of 1.2 liters or 1.3 quarts of oil when the filter is removed. The funnel was then removed. The oil fill cap was then reinstalled. The seat was set down into its normal position. We can double check the level of the oil using the dipstick. The oil should be between the L or low and F or full marks. The oil should never be overfilled which would read past the F or full mark. Here's a close-up view of the dipstick. That being said, this dipstick is interesting because it is extremely long. It's also interesting that the dipstick passes through a section of the tube which is horizontal. Depending on how you take it out, the horizontal section could allow some of the oil to drip along one edge of the dipstick. The dipstick was then reinstalled. At this time, with the vehicle in neutral and the parking brake set, the engine can be started to check for leaks. Once the engine is off, the cargo bed can be lifted with the handle grip while the end of the supporting rod is unhooked. With the ends of the supporting rod free, this will allow the cargo bed to be set down using the handle grip. With the bed set down, the left or driver side latch can then be locked. The right or passenger side latch can then be locked. This concludes the oil change video for the Kawasaki Mule. Thank you for watching. If you like this video or want to see more, subscribe now and view some of our other videos on this channel including DIY, maintenance, projects, and other oil change videos.